Good morning. Uh, just wanted to get on here and make a little informational video. It's, I know it's been a long time since we've done this with the pandemic and all that kind of stuff, but I, I did want to come do a little video and clear up some confusion uh, about rib roast. Uh, we have a lot of people, and, and I'm not telling you that I'm the expert and this is absolute truth. I'm telling y'all this is fact and truth for Jasper and Jasper quality meats, okay? So the, the confusion is as a prime rib, prime rib roast. A prime rib is not a cut of meat to us. A prime rib is a dish that you make out of a rib roast. And then there's a rib roast and a standing rib roast, and I'd like to show you the difference. A standing rib roast is this roast here. It has bones on it, <clears throat> and it's been, I have what's called French tea. I have pulled the meat out between the ribs here, cut the ribs completely off, and then tied it back on with butcher twine. And that's how, and, and you would cook that. It makes a beautiful presentation with the ribs up like that. And this here, you can get in the three different grades of beef. Uh, being prime, choice, and select. So when a person says prime rib, it's not necessarily USDA prime beef. This standing rib roast is actually a select. And you can tell that it does have some marbling in the meat, but not a lot. This is a rib roast. It's the exact same cut of meat as this. It's just boneless. And so it's not a standing rib because there's no ribs there to stand. It is a rib roast. And you can see here in the meat where the bone has been removed. This is a USDA prime grade. You can tell because of the marbling in here. This is a prime. And then choice would fall somewhere between the marbling in this meat and the marbling in this meat. So choice would fall between that. So on a rib roast, you also have the same three grades, prime, choice, and select. Now there's also the, the uh, Wagyu or the Japanese breeds of beef. Uh, we actually carry one that comes from Hart brand beef that is Akaushi, uh, which is just a breed of cattle. And it, it is uh, raised and sourced locally uh, Flatonia, which is uh, 100 to 150 miles from here between Houston and, and San Antonio. Uh, but we, we carry that beef, and a lot of it grades above USDA Prime uh, on the Japanese scale. Uh, it's a whole nother subject for a whole nother video, but it's a little, it, it, it's going to have a little more marbling than even this. Okay, so this roast is a, is a prime, a USDA prime rib roast. Rib roast, not a standing rib roast. Rib roast because there's no ribs on it. It's not a standing rib roast because there's no ribs on it to stand. So it's just a boneless rib roast that you would take, take it home, and you would cook the dish, prime rib. The standing rib roast, this one's a select, it does have the standing ribs. It has been Frenched. The ribs have been tied back on. Once it's cooked, cut string, ribs come off. You can slice it, it makes a beautiful presentation. This, you would also make a prime rib, the dish, the prime rib out of it. So this roast come off of this. This is, so if this is whole, it looks similar to this. It's about the same size. There is seven ribs on a ribeye, this is a ribeye. If you bought this in the case as a steak, it would be a, a boneless ribeye. If it has the bone on it, it has the bone left on it, that is this, this is a bone-in. If it has a rib left on it, it is a bone-in ribeye. 
or what we call around here at Jasper Quality Meats a cowboy cut ribeye. Okay, so this is a whole bone in, still has the bone in it, before it's been Frenched, it's not Frenched, it's not trimmed up at all. There is seven bones, that's the maximum. I've had people come in and say, I want a 10 bone roast. There's no such thing. There's only seven bones. That's, that's all it comes. If you uh, want anything more than that, we have to do two. So I hope that clears up some, some uh, confusion. We sell a lot of these during Christmas holidays. Uh, we sell a few of them for Thanksgiving, but uh, we would love to have, your, uh, have you come in and talk with us about it. I'd be glad to give you a, a, a recipe. Got an old family recipe that, that turns out really well uh, for a prime rib. And the prime rib that you make out of either a rib roast or a standing rib roast. So, any questions, let me know. Glad to visit with you. Thank y'all very much.